Boa noite, gente. Espero que você tenha um ótimo dia. This is your man Larry, American Brazilian, saying good night, to er good night, or good evening, rather, to everyone. Hope you had a, a good day. Uh, I got two things that I want to talk about very, very briefly. And as you can see, I'm leaning on my bedpost because I'm like really relaxed. But I did not want to go to sleep before um, speaking on these particular, these, these two, I guess, particular issues that are in my mind right now. One, I attempted to speak on it this morning, but I don't think I had all of the information. I probably still don't. Uh, the first of which is the untimely death of the young man takeoff of the uh, rap group, the Migos. Uh, so definitely condolences to his family. And I won't speak on that much because I think at this point, so many rappers have been victims of gun violence where it's it's to the point where I think most people are becoming, I wouldn't say desensitized, but it's almost like we're not necessarily shocked when it occurs. Um, the second thing is, it's not very much you can say whereby it might not appear to, whereby it won't appear to, to come across as like victim blaming. You know, here you have a multimillionaire uh, whom oftentimes I'm sure are around people that are may not that may not necessarily be on his level but you have to question like sometimes like why are they in certain settings I understand uh, that they were at a bowling alley or some event and from what I can gather it was kind of private or whatever but for whatever reason somebody got in there with guns I, you know but then in texas from what i understand it's one of those states where you can just carry a gun uh rent, you know out in the open it's open carry state and you don't necessarily they don't really require background check so uh, and, and if i got that wrong charge that to my head not my heart um however you know you, you a multimillionaire and you're playing a dice game with people who probably don't have, I'm sure, as much to lose as you. And I was always told that anytime you deal with people who don't have anything to lose, they will behave that way. And if you have more to lose than them, then you probably want to be, you probably don't want to be around them. And um, it's, it's so unfortunate. Uh, from what I understand, the young man had a child or children. And so now you have another fatherless child uh, all due to you know senseless gun violence and I think I, I saw something or read something uh, throughout the day where uh, they they did apprehend they have a suspect and they believe that it could possibly be something like around like friendly fire type of, of a situation uh, or or either way somebody everybody knows who did it and uh, it, it may have been an accident, who knows, but accident or not, you know, somebody, some mother is without their child, some child is without their father, and um, the world is without a person who, in many cases, a lot of people uh, enjoyed his music, so all of his giftings, his talents, his abilities, that be it the future uh, version of his giftings, talents, and abilities, it stopped. It stopped this morning, and um, very unfortunate. And so I would just say this, and this will probably come across as victim blaming. If you know that you have a lot to lose, please do not surround yourself or be in situations where people don't have as much as you or. If you have to be around people who don't have as much as you, at least make sure that you have security and the people that don't have as much as, as you have to lose, at least they have people, at least they are people that have some type of responsibilities that they need to take care of. Because responsible people who have to make sure that bills are paid and, and obligations are met, certain ways they don't live, certain things they're not going to indulge in. Why? because they have to take care of their responsibility. People who don't have responsibility, they live that way. They are reckless, they are dangerous, and things like this happen when you surround yourself or when you're in settings where 
people who have nothing to lose decide they want to live like they have nothing to lose. Uh, so, um, man, it's just, it's, it's a tragedy. It's, it's, it was needless. It was senseless. And, um, yeah, it's, that's, a that's a, a, a very bitter pill to swallow knowing that this young man went out to enjoy himself and, and, lost his life in the process. So, again, condolences to his family. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about briefly is what's going on in Brazil. It kind of, it, it, it kind of, well, first of all, let me say this. Former President Bolsonaro, um, he goes by the moniker, or at least they call him the Tropical Trump, right? Because he takes, uh, he's he's kind of taken a lot of pages out of Trump's playbook, uh, least of all is if I lose, there is something fishy. And from what I read today, uh, I actually read it and then uh, a brother uh, um, posted it. He sent it to me. Um, and then, I, of course, I looked at it and I confirmed it. And that was um, uh, he's basically uh He's he he doesn't feel like he wants to go out without a fight. He he at one point in time he literally said that he's willing to stage a coup. And then a lot of his supporters, as you know, I don't know if any of you guys follow uh, what goes on in Brazil, but a lot of people are a lot of the truckers, some of the truckers rather, are uh, dumping all types of debris on the road. So they're blocking the major roads and the highways so much so to where people are missing flights. Uh, which um, is causing the uh, airline to cancel many flights, and that's costing the country money. And so you have people who are upset that Bolsonaro won, and so they want to show their uh, displeasure by inconveniencing and wreaking havoc on the whole country. And that's just, that is, that's crazy. I'm not saying that, that you know that 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 it's not that it's not okay to be disappointed it it's absolutely okay to be disappointed but your you being disappointed um it it shouldn't make life hard for other people you couldn't you shouldn't create collateral damage just because you're disappointed that's wrong and so hopefully at some point they'll they'll figure this thing out because i'm i'm you know i have something uh, upcoming soon and when i get there i definitely want to make sure that uh, things are calm when I put boots on the ground, so to speak. So hopefully uh, they can, uh, the military, uh, um, uh, from what I understand, uh, brother also sent me uh, that the, that the uh, certain military faction is going to try to recount the votes. And of course, here we go again. It sounds like uh, what happened here in America. Uh, where, you know, one person lost fair and square, but he doesn't want to accept defeat. And so now he wants to inconvenience the whole company, uh, whole country and rile up uh, tensions uh, and passions uh, for people who support him blindly and ignorantly. So, uh, again, I hope that, you know, they can kind of get some calm in the region and uh, that, that the Brazil that we know, those of us who have been there, those of us who are lovers of Brazil, uh, the place that we know and love, that that ta tranquila, that vibe of peace, uh, can can resonate and 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 thrive and and be seen and felt. So, um, again, uh, congratulations to uh, Presidente Lula. Lula, I keep saying Lula. I don't know why. Lula. And uh, I'm sure Bolsonaro will find something else to do. And uh, I think his supporters will calm down or they will be forced to calm down. And that would be um, a waste of, of time, energy and resources. But, you know, you can choose the actions. You just don't determine the consequences. So hopefully they will. They'll make a decision that they can live with. We'll just put it that way. In any event, this is your man, Larry, American Brazilian. I'm signing off saying, Boa noche, uh, todos vocês, to all, and uh, até a breve. We'll talk to you guys on the next one. Follow Conversate My Stargy, é verdade.